My father was a farrier and his spade was able to a, courier, a Polish courier to get merchandise and, and do some business with some skill here and there. They caught, the Gestapo caught that he has some skill, some fur. They came, they took him. He never came back. They shot him and they, they tortured him, I was told. And they, they took him to the uh, cemetery and they shot him there. That was the beginning. It was early in the morning, four or five in the morning, September maybe the fifth. Um, the, the Germans started running. I, we saw them to the windows, and they started throwing fire, fire bombs into the house. We were in the house. When that happens, we jumped to the window in the back, and we ran away. When we went for the selection in the market, the German was standing there, okay? And as we are passing by, he picks me out, and everybody else is going to the wagons. My, my girlfriend, she was going, maybe five or ten people in the line, going to the trains. I approached the German risking my life and I told them I want to be with, I, did, with, I didn't say my girlfriend, I said my sister. I know he must be in shock that, because he didn't shock me at that point. He looked at me and says who? I said that one, he sent and brought her out. 16 of January 1945, the Russians came and and the German escape. We were liberated. That girl that I saved by the German, we are still together after 74 years. She's here.